guys welcome to an episode of um, support and resistance i will be talking about um, support and resistance on the technical chart today uh, <clears throat> i guess for me support and resistance is one of the most important criteria you need uh, for technical analysis and also when you are looking at the charts okay so uh, one of the basics you need uh, when you are interpreting a chart is the support and resistance uh, another one is maybe like trend line we'll go to that later okay so what is support and resistance so support is a point uh, when investors or traders will enter to buy and possibly push the price back up okay whereas resistance is a point where investors or traders will tend to take profit okay so in other words at a support level you will see a stock price try to resist from going down further whereas at a resistance level you will see a stock price resist itself from going higher okay so <clears throat> this is just an example imagine a tennis ball action okay bouncing on the floor uh, which is the support and when it bounces off the ceiling it's actually resistance okay so um when prices tend to reach support um, traders will tend to think that there is actually um, some support over here and there's a possibility there are people who will start buying in to the stock uh, at the support support level so when this happens the price won't go lower okay uh, well uh, same with resistance uh, we can only see a resistance when it has been formed historically that means there is past data past data in the chart saying that um, there is this resistance at this point level okay so um, if let's say you bought okay we just take this uh, image as an example okay if let's say you bought at the support level okay you bought maybe somewhere here or here right at the support level most of the time you won't get the exact level uh, but okay there are instances which you will actually really get the exact level so you will buy it here and when it goes up if let's say uh, let's say we are talking about the resistance is about here this level over here when it reaches here you may tend to sell because you have already gotten quite a huge profit over here now people who actually buy at support and sell at resistance are most of the time traders okay they are not investors investors usually tend to hold it for a much longer duration okay like let's say you already know um this company has very good fundamentals behind it there's a high chance that you will hold it for a long time okay so people who actually buy at support and sell at resistance are more likely to be traders okay you have many types of traders like position traders short term traders uh swing traders okay all these kind of things you will actually tend to buy at support and you will sell at the resistance okay we'll go through the slides first then we'll go over to um the the chart okay where i'll explain more okay so what are my thoughts on support and resistance okay uh for me um support and resistance is just is actually a study of human behavior okay uh you can only find support and resistance if you have the past data in the chart okay otherwise actually there is no support and resistance so you know sometimes when there are ipo stocks that come out um and then you are like you know at what price uh is the support and what price is the resistance actually there isn't okay you have to wait until um the stock actually settles down first you know there's some data over the past few days then only you will actually see uh where the support and resistance is okay so you some of you may have heard like you know some people will say if if the stock breaks the 52 week high then sky is the limit okay this, this is actually indicating that there is no there has never been uh once where the the price of this stock is higher than this price okay let's say the, the the high of the stock is like rm5 okay and uh, uh suddenly the stock breaks rm5 breaks this previous resistance and it starts trading at about 510 okay and you start asking like you know where is the resistance uh for this level where what, what is the next resistance okay actually by right that is enough but um there are a few ways for you to actually see uh at what price the resistance may be at okay maybe only we can go high it cannot reach also or it can hit okay this is just like a like a projection okay so that is uh what i feel support and resistance how the support is formed is actually from human behavior okay if let's say if let's say today i'm buying the stock called milo okay if let's say there's a stock called milo um and uh, it's 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 going on a downtrend okay from let's say 3 ringgit it has dropped to about 2 ringgit and it's still dropping and all of a sudden me as a you know maybe i'm a, a banker or fundamentalist and i start seeing like you know actually uh, one ringgit 80 cents seems like quite a fair value for this stock okay so i may start you know buying in at 180 okay and it, if let's say you know i'm a huge 
(uh) institutional fund coming in and I keep buying in to the stock at about one (uh) one eighty you know or two ringgit and (uh) the stock kind of stabilises over there that means there is a a quite a balance of supply and demand over there that will form a new support for the stock okay so it's not to say like (um) that there is a fixed (um) (uh) number or where you will see the support and resistance is [lah] okay but in short support is where people (um) tend to buy and there is right for a rebound support level (uh) coincides with (um) R_S_I oversold R_S_I oversold levels as well okay so sometimes you may see like at this support level the R_S_I is already oversold okay so it's right for a rebound [lah] okay and resistance is where a lot of sellers like I told you just now so the entire market is actually governed by a lot of supply and demand okay so when there are a lot of sellers it shows that there is an excess supply okay and on the other hand when there is support it shows sorry this is shows that there is a huge demand there okay so when there is more demand and the complex to supply the prices will increase and when when there is more supply compared to demand the price will decrease decrease okay this is a theory that we also use in everyday life lah okay for example i think uh, as of now um sugar sugar is low in stock so demand is high price is increasing uh, another one i think is a uh, rice okay uh, rice is also low in stock uh, there are also rumors and articles saying that um, people are actually transferring the local uh, rice over uh, and repack it as an imported rice okay so that is where you see the demand is the same but the supply is not enough so the demand becomes more than the supply so when this happens price tend to increase okay the the, the concept is actually same everywhere for example if let's say a lot of people buy gold okay gold is like a limited supply kind of thing okay so when you people will say you know buy gold now keep it you know 10 years down the road the price will increase you know because there is not much supply okay it's the same with go, going with um, oil okay oil is like a limited supply kind of thing so eventually your demand may be higher than your supply so that's how it works so at a resistance level if let's say there is not much supply and there's high demand buying will actually break out break through the resistance level okay where else at support level if let's say your your demand is not strong is not stronger than the supply there are too many sellers it will break the support okay i will explain it i think it will be better when we go over to the chart lah okay and lastly so if you're able to grasp this theory looking at charts it will be much much easier lah you will be able to recognize uh, where are the support and where are the resistance levels okay okay let's go over to the chart okay now we let's just have a look at this chart this is pmb tag i think this is also coincidentally the same chart i use to explain on macd okay so uh, just a disclaimer this is not a buy or sell call um if you require a buy and sell call you need to look for your remiser uh this is this video is totally education for educational purposes now okay we are just talking about support and resistance over here so there's no buy or sell call in this video huh? um i think i will use a few vi a few um, stocks later so maybe the understanding will be better lah. okay so moving on to the chart okay we just have a look over here this one is a bit hard to trade because uh it's a bit like a barcode lah. okay there's not much movement there are days where there's some almost zero volume okay it's a bit hard to trade over here we look at it when it's a bit more lively okay if not it's a bit hard for you to see okay so we have a look at this as an example okay we draw a line okay you can see that actually the stock hit over this area multiple times and did not break through okay that means this is considered as a strong support so at this area you will you can say that the demand is stronger than the supply okay at this zone okay because you see the stock has come down okay hit multiple times okay and especially at this area it was just consolidating at this area okay so you can say that the demand is better than uh, stronger than the supply over here okay so it was proven right you see when you know it come the demand better, more than the supply and then when you break out you see it literally flew lah, okay it's a very very strong uh, breakout uh, and breakout started over here okay so let's zoom in over here 
you will see that okay let's say over here huh? okay you will see that actually it has attempted to break out from this line many many times okay it has attempted here uh, long 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 week on the uh, above okay here managed to quite high volume then after it came back down here attempt again fail attempt again fail okay so multiple times when this happens you you can say that the supply here is more than the demand okay so which is why um the the, the stock keeps coming down after hitting that you know ceiling that we spoke of just now um but what's good is the floor of it is not breaking lah okay that means there is actually strong demand at eh, about this this zone okay and subsequently it started going higher okay higher 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 and now you see this which which is why i i, I said just now you you need your previous data to actually tell you what is the support and resistance okay so if we look at here this zone okay this is actually like a resistance for this zone so you see it gapped up but it closed below this zone on this day it actually attempted to break out but it closed below it again here also attempted and it closed below again okay we see this part later we just focus on here first so you can see that there is a lot of resistance over here there are a lot of sellers lah. okay so it came down uh tried again fail and then it started coming down okay we have a look at this area you see this area is actually exactly the same as the previous uh support okay the previous level where there was more demand compared to the supply okay this area so you see actually exactly hit at 2.41 this area and it rebounded okay sorry it rebounded quite quite well it actually literally challenged back the previous high which is about 4.4 okay so it challenged back the previous high of about 4.4 and it failed okay we just draw a line over here uh, lower a bit. okay it's about 4.4 you can see it challenged attempted to break up but failed okay and the next day is a very very high volume selling okay and then it started consolidating around this area so one thing that you need to take note is support and resistance is not about a line okay it is an entire zone so if let's say i'm talking about the resistance over here it does not necessarily mean the resistance is at 4.4 it can be actually an entire uh, area lah, okay like a, you can use like a ray okay it's like a zone lah, okay so some some people will actually use a bigger one they will they, they will tend to use something like maybe like a rectangle like this so it shows like this entire zone is uh is a support and resistance kind of area lah, okay okay this entire zone okay so it's, it's not a necessity there is only one line okay there can be actually different different places maybe we just have a look at other charts as well later okay so we continue looking at this so you can see that about this zone is like the support area okay what's nice about this is if let's say we mix with other um uh, uh uh, chapters as well uh, what's nice about here is actually you can see this is one high then another high then another high another high which is all higher than the previous another high okay so this is actually good okay because it's creating higher lows okay so here it finally broke out it broke out for a few days and then it started dropping again okay uh, we don't talk about the price action first we will just focus on the support uh, and resistance first okay so remember this line that we drew previously okay this one yeah you see this was previously a resistance a strong one that the stock couldn't break okay eventually you know it hovered many many times and it finally broke out when it came back down it actually acted as a support okay this actually acted as a support like i said uh, a support is actually not just one line it is a zone lah okay so you can see that it hit about this support and it rebounded okay it rebounded up to the previous resistance again which is here if you actually look back it kind of overshot a bit but the next down next day it came back down lah okay um uh that's about another topic lah okay we don't mix it up okay then it started coming down and it continued coming down okay when it continued coming down you have a look at this zone 
again this support tried to support okay you there was you know buying demand over here to try to stop the stock from going lower on multiple occasions you know this entire area but on this day it failed okay that means the demand is no longer stronger than the supply there is too much of supply in the stock so no choice you have to let the supply go okay so the supply came tumbling down okay it came down over here rebounded here okay and it came back up here now you will see that there are already actually a lot of um, supply over here because the stock don't seem to be able to go higher anymore okay if you look at it in a trend line manner it is going lower okay it is creating lower highs okay and uh, the i think the lower low hasn't arrived lah, but it's already creating the lower highs which is not a good thing okay so this was previously the uh, support okay you see it was supported breakout now it has turned into a resistance okay let me just draw it out uh, a bit okay this is a resistance okay and this is a support okay when a stock comes it comes and rebounds like this okay this is what you see on all books okay this is what we call theory lah. okay um, but when you actually look at it in real life it's always not the case lah. okay same like when you go school you study or whatever they give you it's always looking so easy but you know when you really take the exam it's not so easy lah. okay so on real life maybe it'll be something like this Okay, something like this lah. Okay, it won't be so simple. Okay, okay. But what I want, what I want to explain here is, um, a resistance can turn into a support. Okay, and a support can turn into a resistance. Okay, now, if let's say the stock had came down and it was supported over here, it, and it attempts to, uh, uh, break out from the resistance. Okay, if it broke out. It will retest the resistance to see if this resistance, this area, turns into a support. Okay? Just remember that stocks move in a stairway manner. It moves in waves, whichever you want to you want to take it lah. Okay? You can say it moves in waves, you can say it moves in stairway manner, you can you can say like you know it follows Elliott wave that is always up and down, you know. Um but whatever it is, you just need to know stocks don't move in a straight line, okay? They move like this. Okay, so if let's say it hits support, go up, okay, we, we, okay, we put support aside first, ah, okay, you, you can actually have a stock or something like this, break out from the resistance, come back down, retest the resistance and then go higher, okay, and this area will be what we call a resistance turn support, okay, that means previously it was a resistance, but after breaking out, being able to take out all the sellers over there, it has now turned into a uh, support area, that means this place which previously had a lot of supply has turned into a place of demand okay so when the stock comes back down a lot of people tend to buy over there you know they they they, they, they think that this price is fair okay uh theory lah, huh? so they tend to buy so this will become a new support the same thing will happen for uh uh support lines okay which is what happened in this pmb tech lah. okay the stock can be going up like this go down then go down okay so here is what we call a support turn into resistance okay previously it was supporting the stock when it came down but now when it comes down it no longer supports the stock okay it broke down and it has turned into a resistance okay previously there was a lot of demand over here but this demand has now turned into a supply okay so that's what we call a support turn into a resistance why am, I, why am I talking about this? This is exactly what happened to PMB Tech. Okay, this was previously a very strong support. You can see that, you know, multiple times it was, it was, you know, rebounding over here. You know, many times rebound, rebound, rebound. Now that it has broken now it has turned into a resistance. This is a new resistance for the stock. And then this one, it could have reached, is creating a lower high. Okay, so it's not able to break through that previous support. Okay, and now it's coming down lah. Okay, so that's, uh, how we see support and resistance okay now let's go over to another stock i think this stock is quite nice okay if you have a look at takaful i didn't draw any lines huh? we were just right now huh? okay so you can say that this is definitely a resistance 
okay this is a clear cut resistance lah okay you can see so many times yeah we see from this side this sign is just hovering around here you know break out and come back down break out come back down finally cannot so it came down and then this third this line has now turned into a resistance okay so it came down you know then attempted to break here failed so it came down again okay and then last attempt here breakout successful okay what you need to note during the successful breakout is the high volume over here okay you can see that the volume is actually much higher than the previous days okay so this is an example of uh, resistance so we come and talk about support there is obvious support about this zone okay and you see here up a bit up a bit up a bit okay the good thing about this is despite the erratic movement over here it's it keeps creating a higher low first low second low third low fourth low fifth low sixth low okay it keeps going higher of course this is a bit parabolic already lah. okay <coughs> so this is regarded as the support so now he has broken out of his resistance but this is not a good candle lah. this is a shooting star candle okay so once he has broken out already now he came back down he's going to retest the previous um, resistance area to see whether it turns into a support or not okay has broken down slightly a bit about here but he has rebounded quite well lah, in my opinion okay uh, not sure whether it will continue going higher or not <coughs> this video is entirely to to to, to teach you about support and resistance only lah. okay okay let's see what other stocks we can we see mm. ah, let's say eforce okay this is quite a penny stock uh, but I think the support and resistance is pretty obvious. Okay, we have a look here. <coughs> okay, you can see that there is quite a strong support over here at 0 0.39. Okay, you see, ah, uh, we always use previous data to find back what is current data. Okay, you see here it was supported multiple times, so many times it was supported over here. Okay, multiple times, and finally, when it couldn't already, it broke down. Okay, and you see usually when it breaks down from this support, the volume will be higher. Okay, because there are a lot of sellers over there. Okay, there were a lot of people who were buying over here. And once it breaks down, you may sell. Okay, because going down already. Ma. Okay, so you can see that the volume increased. Okay, and then subsequently, it went down, go up back. And you can see it still acts as a support over here. Okay, it's still from the previous data, it's a support. Went up. And then after that got sold down quite badly and here it turned into a resistance you see it hit here and then came back down okay quite high volume also compared to normal days lah. okay and now it has broken out you see here is high volume you can see the bar is quite high okay and again is using 0 0.39 as the support okay so this is another example of support and resistance and support turn resistance resistance turn support lah. okay you go another stop let's see mm, escape price okay we, we can have a look at escape price no problem okay uh easier to see like this okay so looking at escape press you can quite obviously see there is some resistance at here 0 0.98 okay you can see that you you he came up here tested once fail tested again fail tested again fail and finally it broke up okay it finally broke up from this area uh, but it's forming some support at about 1 instead of 0 0.98 lah. Okay, 1 also happens to be the level that it, it previously reached. Okay, so uh, not necessarily you always get a support turn resistance or resistance turn support. Of course, it's better. It will further um, make like a you know solid base. But it's not like a compulsory thing. Okay, it can and it cannot also. Okay, so you can see over here. This was this is considered as like a new support, okay, and this will be a resistance, okay. Why previously I put 1.08 as the resistance? You can look at this, okay. It hit 1.08 multiple times and didn't break. And finally, it kept down and continued going lower, okay. So, well, I, my opinion is 1.08 is a resistance, lah. Okay. Now, we go. I, I mean support and resistance is not only for the Malaysian market lah. You can use it uh, I guess almost anywhere. Okay. Let's say you want to see Dow Jones index is 
similar lah okay like here you can see that there's a support over here you know multiple support and then it came supporting again okay and if you want to talk about resistance probably somewhere about here okay multiple times it hit so support and resistance is actually um you can see it's like the basics of the stock market lah uh, the analysis sorry not the stock market it, it's like the basics of the entire stock you must know um how to identify a support and resistance okay from there only you can start moving forward like if like example you want to draw a trend line okay you also need to know the support and resistance first okay for example like this this is a trend line this is a very nice trend line in fact okay but you need to know the support and resistance first because this is the support lines this is the low lines okay you draw a line through go throughout the entire trend uh, entire thing and you will get an uptrend line okay and if you want a downtrend line it's similar just that it's from the high to the lows from the highs lah. okay you see it's a nice trend line here so okay quite following lah. so that's support and resistance okay it's very important it's literally a compulsory thing for you to know okay um we can even try uh, us stocks uh, um, let's say apple okay you can have a look at apple this is obviously a resistance very obvious okay like i said resistance must not i mean doesn't necessarily need to be one line okay it can be like a zone so if you look at here we look at past data you 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 will you will see like oh here is a resistance okay and then here it couldn't hit you know it's not uh breaking a higher high i think a higher high higher low um we will keep it for another class another session okay so here you see there's another one and here you see there's another one okay this entire zone is actually full of supply and demand over here okay so you see when the stock comes over here it will actually have cuts quite a difficult time okay you will like hover around here okay and then when it comes over here you see it's a it's going down okay and then you see this support this support can be identified from the previous chart you look at here okay this was a support okay this is also a support okay this level 170 is also a support from the previous base so it depends on what are you looking for okay a support doesn't necessarily need to be only on a daily chart it can be on a weekly chart it can be on a 15 minute chart it can be on a 5 minute chart but what you need to know is the longer the time frame of the chart that means if you compare a 5 minute chart and a 15 minute chart a 15 minute charts a 15 minute charts uh, support is a stronger support um, compared to the 5 minutes one and a daily one is stronger than a 1 hour chart of course monthly will be stronger than weekly lah okay so if you see a support on a weekly chart it is much stronger compared to a support that you find on a daily chart okay similar to all the chart patterns if let's say you see a chart pattern like a head and shoulders or you see a bull flag pendant whatever it is if you are seeing it on a weekly chart it is much stronger than when you when you find it when you see it on a daily chart okay that's just how things go lah okay the time frame counts okay so i guess that will be all for um, my episode of support and resistance you can leave down in the comment if let's say you have any questions and you have any queries that you want to ask okay um stay tuned for the next video okay that'll be all thank you bye bye if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos